Understanding dielectric losses factor and tangent. Dielectric losses refer to the energy that is lost as heat when an electrical field is applied to a dielectric material. A dielectric material is an insulating material that can store electrical energy in an electrical field. When an electrical field is applied to a dielectric material, some of the energy stored in the electrical field is converted into heat, leading to a decrease in the stored energy. This decrease in energy is referred to as dielectric loss. Dielectric losses can be characterized by the dielectric loss tangent, tan, which is the ratio of the energy lost as heat to the energy stored in the electrical field. The dielectric loss tangent is an important parameter in the design and selection of dielectric materials for electrical applications, as it affects the performance of the material in terms of energy storage and heat dissipation. The dielectric loss tangent is dependent on several factors, including the frequency of the applied electrical field, the temperature of the dielectric material, and the properties of the dielectric material itself. For example, at higher frequencies, the dielectric loss tangent tends to be higher due to the increased motion of the charged particles within the dielectric material. At higher temperatures, the dielectric loss tangent also tends to be higher due to the increased thermal motion of the charged particles. There are several types of dielectric materials that are used in electrical applications, including ceramic materials, polymer materials, and liquid dielectrics. Each type of dielectric material has its own unique properties and characteristics that determine its performance in terms of energy storage and heat dissipation. In conclusion, dielectric losses are an important aspect to consider in the design and selection of dielectric materials for electrical applications. The dielectric loss tangent is a key parameter that affects the performance of the material and is dependent on several factors, including frequency, temperature, and the properties of the dielectric material itself. Dielectric materials are insulating materials that can store electrical energy in an electrical field. They are used in many electrical applications such as capacitors, transformers, and high-voltage insulation systems. There are several types of dielectric materials, each with its own unique properties and characteristics that determine its performance in terms of energy storage and heat dissipation. In this article, we will discuss the different types of dielectric materials, including ceramic materials, polymer materials, and liquid dielectrics. Ceramic materials are a type of solid dielectric material that are commonly used in electrical applications. They are known for their high dielectric constant, which allows them to store a large amount of electrical energy in a small volume. Ceramic materials also have a high dielectric strength, which means that they can withstand high electrical fields without breaking down. This makes them suitable for use in high-voltage insulation systems. Ceramic materials are also characterized by their high temperature stability and low dielectric losses. This means that they are able to maintain their dielectric properties even at high temperatures, making them ideal for use in high temperature electrical applications. Some common types of ceramic materials used in electrical applications include barium titanate, strontium titanate, and lead zirconate titanate. Polymer materials are another type of dielectric material that are commonly used in electrical applications. They are known for their low dielectric constant and low dielectric loss tangent, which makes them ideal for use in applications where low dielectric losses are required. Polymer materials are also characterized by their low cost, lightweight, and easy processability, which makes them a popular choice for use in electrical applications. Polymer materials can be further classified into two types, thermoplastic polymers and thermosetting polymers. Thermoplastic polymers are a type of polymer that can be melted and reshaped multiple times without changing their chemical structure. This makes them ideal for use in applications where the dielectric material needs to be shaped into a specific form. Some common types of thermoplastic polymers used in electrical applications include polyethylene, polypropylene, and polyvinyl chloride. Thermosetting polymers, on the other hand, are a type of polymer that undergoes a chemical reaction when heated, which causes them to harden and become infusible. This makes them ideal for use in applications where the dielectric material needs to maintain its shape and mechanical properties. 
Some common types of thermosetting polymers used in electrical applications include epoxy resins and phenolic resins. Liquid dielectrics are a type of dielectric material that are used in electrical applications where the dielectric material needs to have a high breakdown strength and low viscosity. Liquid dielectrics are characterized by their high dielectric constant, which allows them to store a large amount of electrical energy in a small volume. Some common types of liquid dielectrics used in electrical applications include transformer oil and mineral oil. In conclusion, there are several types of dielectric materials that are used in electrical applications, including ceramic materials, polymer materials, and liquid dielectrics. Each type of dielectric material has its own unique properties and characteristics that determine its performance in terms of energy storage and heat dissipation. The choice of dielectric material depends on the specific requirements of the application and the desired balance between performance, cost, and processability. The dielectric loss tangent, also known as the tangent delta, is a measure of the energy losses in a dielectric material due to the dissipation of electrical energy as heat. It is a complex quantity that depends on several factors, including the frequency of the applied electrical field, the temperature of the dielectric material, and the properties of the dielectric material itself. In this article, we will discuss the factors that affect the dielectric loss tangent and the implications of these losses for electrical applications. The frequency of the applied electrical field is a key factor that affects the dielectric loss tangent. At low frequencies, the dielectric losses are relatively low, while at high frequencies, the losses are much higher. This is because the dielectric material becomes more conductive at high frequencies, which results in a higher dissipation of electrical energy as heat. The frequency-dependent behavior of the dielectric loss tangent is known as the dielectric dispersion. The dielectric dispersion can be characterized by the dielectric constant, which is a measure of the energy stored in the dielectric material per unit volume, and the loss tangent, which is a measure of the energy losses in the dielectric material. The temperature of the dielectric material also affects the dielectric loss tangent. As the temperature of the dielectric material increases, the dielectric losses also increase. This is due to the increased thermal motion of the charged particles in the dielectric material, which leads to an increase in the conductivity of the material. The temperature-dependent behavior of the dielectric loss tangent is known as the thermal dispersion. The properties of the dielectric material itself are also important factors that affect the dielectric loss tangent. The properties of the dielectric material include its chemical composition, crystal structure, and microstructure. The chemical composition of the dielectric material determines its electrical conductivity, which in turn affects the dielectric loss tangent. The crystal structure and microstructure of the dielectric material can also affect the dielectric losses as they determine the distribution of charged particles in the material. The dielectric loss tangent is an important parameter for electrical applications, as it determines the efficiency of the energy storage and heat dissipation in the dielectric material. In capacitors, for example, the dielectric loss tangent determines the amount of energy that is stored in the capacitor and the amount of energy that is lost as heat. In transformers, the dielectric loss tangent affects the efficiency of the energy transfer between the primary and secondary windings. The dielectric loss tangent also affects the reliability and durability of the electrical equipment that uses the dielectric material. High dielectric losses can cause the temperature of the electrical equipment to increase, which can lead to damage or failure of the equipment. Additionally, high dielectric losses can cause the electrical performance of the equipment to degrade over time, which can affect its accuracy and reliability. In conclusion, the dielectric loss tangent is dependent on several factors, including the frequency of the applied electrical field, the temperature of the dielectric material, and the properties of the dielectric material itself. These losses have important implications for electrical applications, as they determine the efficiency of energy storage and heat dissipation, as well as the reliability and durability of the electrical equipment. Understanding the factors that affect the dielectric loss tangent is crucial for the design and optimization of electrical equipment and for ensuring its performance and reliability over time.